In Pokemon, there are eight gyms with eight different types. What if we restricted ourselves to catching only one Pokemon for each gym we defeated? That means us plus eight Pokemon versus Pokemon Sword. This is Pokemon Badge Lock. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this episode three of Pokemon Badge Lock, a new challenge run created by yours truly. It's a twist on the classic Nuzlocke, except in the regular Nuzlocke, you have to catch one Pokemon in every route, and it has to be the first one you encounter. In our challenge, the Badge Lock, the first rule is the same. If a Pokemon faints, it's considered gone. The second rule is you can only catch one Pokemon per badge, and the type of that Pokemon must match the badge that you've just collected. On the last episode, we said goodbye to our mom, met the main character, Yamper, and Sonia, who gave us a Pokedex. We destroyed some trainers, including Hop, found a definitely rare celestial object that's totally not important to the plot, but can make our boys real big, and we hopped on a train. And here we are, stopped where that train stopped, which is not uh, Motostoke, which is where it was supposed to take us, but instead the wild area, because there were some Wulu on the track. We can see them hanging out right over there. Very true. So we are going to be introduced to the wild area. It's going to be a quick tutorial, which we're going to skip some of. But in general, I wanted to keep this in because I thought it would be nice. I mean, look at this glorious vista that Game Freak has created just for us. All right, here we are in the wild area. Let's talk to this lady. So this operates as our Pokemon Center of sorts in the wild area. So this wild area is kind of the main reason why I decided to make this series. I thought it would be a good uh, balance between the randomness of a Nuzlocke and a standard restricted challenge run because I do like monotype challenges and things like that, and I like uh, specifically designed challenges that give you a certain set of resources to work with. So I wanted to go somewhere in the middle. Uh, I do really like the Nuzlocke challenge because of the randomness involved, but uh, that's kind of harder to do in this game just because you can see the Pokemon in the wild area. And if you limited yourself to not the wild area or to only uh, mystery question mark exclamation point Pokemon, I think it would be a little bit less interesting. But nonetheless, here we are. It's not a cry over any spilled milk. The challenge has been set out. Thank you for the Pokemon box link. The best mechanic ever in a Pokemon game. The kind of people who thought that Let's Go were bad games just because they took out tedium from the game. I'll never understand those people. I mean, good for them for having opinions, but uh, we'll never understand them. The wild area is waiting for us. This is the start of our real adventure. Dun -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. So just like with the other two episodes, we're going to edit out quite a bit of this. Uh, not all of it, but I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of what we're doing and, uh, you know, how much we're leveling up and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we won't be... This is an important thing. So if we see Pokemon on the overworld not in grass, that means that they're very powerful. We can't catch them. Uh... But for right now, we're just going to run around. I'm going to train up probably to around level 15. And then we're going to go to Motostoke. And that's one down for Hotman. Not a level up, but that's okay. Moving on. A Pancham. There are tons of Mudbrays and Wingles and Timpoles that are coming at me. And I'm avoiding them. Oh, I maybe should have avoided this guy. Yee! That was no good. That guy was level 15. Brought me down to like four, four health. Oh, jeez. All right. We are gonna go actually over back to the place and heal up. I'll be right back. 
That is more my speed. Something I can inflict super effective damage on. Something that won't uh, kill Hotman in one fell swoop. There we go. That's more like it. That is two down. And a level up. Level 12. All right. Double kick. All right, we'll learn double kick. Uh, we will get rid of tackle for that. Nice. That'll be a pretty dang useful move against uh, stuff fire would not help us against. Not a level up from that guy, but some XP. We'll just keep a combi counter for this episode, I guess. That'll be good. That'll be fun for editing me. And there's level 13. No new moves, I don't think. Nope, we're good. More combies. I have reached level 14 on Score Bunny. I'm almost out of embers, so I'm gonna go heal up. I've lost track of how many combies I've absolutely destroyed. Uh, but I do have a few things to note. Um, I'm interested to hear uh, what people think about the challenge in general. I uh, did wake up one night with it in my head, so I'm not sure how good it is. Uh, but I'm interested to hear what the uh, uh, opinions are about a challenge that is a bit more uh, designed uh, than Nuzlocke in terms of I get to choose what Pokemon I have uh, with a pretty high degree of freedom. I'm only restricted to certain types. I'm also interested to hear what people think I should do about raid battles. I think it'd be I think it might be fun to maybe take on some raid battles as challenges uh, along the way or something like that. Something that doesn't make the game super easy because I don't want to be able to like grind XP candies and stuff like that. Even this grinding, I mean, I think the next top battle has uh, a level 14 Grookey and that's the hardest. Uh, I think I also have a battle with Team Yell. So I want to make sure I'm not too overleveled, obviously, as I've talked about. Uh, but at the same time, I do want to make sure I am trained enough to not lose automatically. Uh, so I'm interested to hear different suggestions people have uh, about the challenge. I'm gonna fight at least one Electrike, I guess, if it's not super high level. Let's see if it's another Pancham situation. Oh no, we should be good here. And that's Electrike down. I did get to use double kick, but I did get paralyzed, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to heal that up, continue my walk towards Motostoke after. Oh, God. Okay. Be right back. What are you doing in here? I can't, like, drop it. I guess I have to sell it. I was going to try to throw it on the ground, but the joke didn't work. That's level 15 for our good boy. I think we can call our training session there. Uh, Stuffle might be back for you. Uh, yeah, we can uh, call that and I will go on up to Motostoke. Uh, so up in Motostoke, we're going to have to uh, battle hop again. We're going to have to go to the hotel, meet Marnie, uh, and then go to the opening ceremony. So I'm hoping to go at least through Motostoke and then through a part of the mine. Uh, before we end this episode off. I know we're only we should only be at around nine minutes right now uh, But I am to about half an hour of actual game time in the episode so far So when something like that happens where I have a big grind that happens to happen uh, Between the start and end of an episode. I will stretch the episode a little bit uh, to make sure you guys get a solid 20 25 30 at the most minute long video so, I'm going to get called over by Sonia, who's going to talk to us about the Pokemon Santea, which we have already seen. You're a real trainer, blah, blah, blah. She going to talk about the Rotom? Yeah. Yeah, so the PC's been changed in this game. I'm gonna get a league card. Let's see. I got Leon's card. Very nice.
Okay. All right, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon and then go find Sonia. All right, let's talk to Sonia. Remember my goal, I'm here for the gym challenge. We're gonna go up to that big wheel. We're going to resist the temptation to buy clothes and get a haircut. I'll probably do that between episodes, come back with a fresh new fit, fresh new cut. I don't know what my characters like. I don't know what badges like from a, you know, from a aesthetic standpoint, from a, from an RP standpoint. <laughs> what do you would wear? I love this big wheel. Does it make any sense? Heck no. Is that Charizard? It's Charizard! No, oh, Leon's here too. Yeah. <sighs> yes, yes, you do still get lost. Thank you, I've caught zero Pokemon. Oh, that's useful. See, at least that makes sense from a story perspective. When he gave me the Miracle Seed in my main one, it's like, why do you have this? And this, at least, it's like, oh, maybe he used it on his Charmander when it was little. Big wheel. Oh, God. Oh, God, don't look. Oh, God, don't look at him. If we walk very slowly, he won't notice us. Oh, God, we made it. Oh, that was close. P ball guy almost noticed us. Hello, Hop. Yes, it is. Are both of our moms. Yeah. You're allowed to be ner- Hey, dude. It's 2020. You're allowed to be nervous. Can I- Okay, cool. Hey, sorry. I know you guys, like, need to get something started, but, uh... I saw some random items on the ground. I'm gonna get those first. Uh, also, you should get some, uh unified design on your badges they're kind of bad as is it's all good I've, i fixed them up although i am noticing something about that fire badge now hmm anyway i spent far too much time <laughs> redrawing those badges in illustrator because i didn't like the fact that none of them have the same design language the rock badge has Shine on it, for God's sake. It's packed with gym challengers, even though we'll never see any of them. Let's get assigned up. Oh, my favorite character in this game. Yes. I love BD so much. Hand over our endorsement. Oh, I like that old man who's competing. And I see Marnie. Well, one of us is special. The other one is his, yeah, brother. Yeah, and don't be mean. He's just, just trying to do his job. Thank you. I think we're gonna go with eight, because that's how many Pokemon we're gonna have when we challenge Leon at the end of the game. Well, I mean, hopefully it's gonna be the number of Pokemon we have. We may lose some along the way, but that's the, that's the kind of the magic number of this series. Yep, we're gonna go over to the hotel. I think we're gonna have to fight Team Yell over there, which will be fun. Uh, it's over to the left. So I'll, I'll see you over there. Yeah, they had to have a, a special league man show us the way in case we got lost. And there's Sonya standing in front of a big buff man with a, with a sword and a shield. Sure. Yes, it's a statue. Hmm. 
You know, I'll take the short version. Darkest day, statues here, something something. It was definitely a man and not a Pokemon. See, she's not, oh, actually in that one, it's, it's working pretty well. See, that animation works from afar. We should check in. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Team Yaws. Alright, we'll battle, I guess. What's up, hooligans? Alright, let's beat up this Team Yell grunt. It just has a zigzagoon. I think I'm gonna skip to the end of this one. Actually, it won't even take that long with double kick. We're yeah, never mind. We don't need to skip through it. Da da pa pa da da pa pa da. Thank you for the seven dollars. Now please let me check into my hotel. Oh, do we have to fight? Oh my gosh. Uh, we do already have a fighting type move, so... No dark Pokemon is really going to stand a chance, but if you want to try, I guess... That's what I thought. I may be a tiny, tiny, little, eensy bit overleveled, at least for this little section. I don't think against Hop I'll be too overleveled, uh, since I am one versus three. I like that dialogue, because that's like, I was really nervous, because it's this is a very nice hotel. Thank you for healing up my Pokemon. We wouldn't want this game to be too difficult now, would we? Well, it is a double battle, which is pretty cool. But I am definitely a little bit overleveled. I think Wulu is going to be level 11 when we face them next. But the mines are going to be pretty rough for us. Uh, so it's probably good to be this leveled. Maybe not right this second, but for the mine area where we're going to be facing a lot of rock types. Uh, this is probably for the best. And that's that. Bum, ba, ba, bum. I came to the gym challenge of Blitz Ceremony. This is awful. Not. Listen, I tried it in episode one. Most of it got cut out. You guys don't need to hear my awful accents. Oh, and there's Marnie. I love how they hold up the signs demurely. Like, it wasn't us, we were just cheering you along. Yeah, they just, yeah, they get, they get excited. All right, let's check in. Whoa. That was a good sleep. Good morning, are we gonna fight now? Okay, <laughs> I thought that's when we were going to fight. But no, I'll meet you back over at the stadium. Once again, an official man tried to escort us, but we said no, we know the way. And now we're going to be pretty much good to go. I'm going to go get changed. And then I'm just going to let this opening ceremony kind of play out after we see how cool we look. 
Yeah, very cool, dude. I like to imagine that Rose is the only one who is American, you know, for plot reasons. The fighting farmer, he's the grass type expert, Milo. The raging wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. The Galar karate prodig prodigy, that's hard to say. Nobody's better with fighting types than B, the master of the fantastic theater, is the charming fairy type user, Opal. The hard rock crusher, please welcome the rock type master, Gordy. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but... These are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. Hey, that was pretty cool. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. Seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. All right, bye. These vibes you're putting out are totally trustworthy. Mm-hmm. I do know that. Thank you, yes. So we're gonna go over to the left. Oh, actually before that, we're gonna get a gift from the chairman. I don't actually remember what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Flying taxis. Very useful. We actually do know. Thank you, though. This is so cute. I love this. Stop along the way, grab a silk scarf. And battle hop. All right, he's gonna have the same three Pokemon, just a bit leveled up. Should not be a problem for us since we have a fighting move for Wulu. Uh, our regular moves for Rookity, and then our fire type moves for Grookey. Let's double kick. 
I'd forgotten that we even had Double Kick for Wulu. So this battle will be pretty dang easy. Seems I killed a few too many uh, a few too many combies. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we do uh, play on set in this. Like obviously, I mean most most players who are looking for any kind of challenge go on set, but we are doing it for this challenge. One of those that I knew I could. One of those I knew I could include in the list, but didn't really need to. So close. Oh, actually, we should be fine. We're gonna take a little bit more damage, but it shouldn't be a problem. We might actually evolve here, which means I have to make another graphic that I wasn't expecting to have to make so soon. But that's okay. They're fun to make. Let's take care of this Rickety and let's see. Oh my god. Why? There we go. That's Rickety down. We won't gain a level here, but we have defeated Hop. Let's see if we evolve. I don't remember when. We will. All right. Hopman is evolving. And now we have a Raboot! So that's exciting. Get one of Hop's League cards. And we're gonna go heal up real fast. Alright, and we have... Uh, just healed up our Pokemon, and in fact, we've just hit about 50 minutes on my recording, and we're hitting about 30 minutes for the overall footage, so I think I am actually going to call it here. In the next episode, we will make our way through the mines and to Tuffield. There we go. To Tuffield, and we will... Dude, I'm, I'm trying to do an outro. Okay, thanks. We will go to Tuffield and we will challenge gym leader Milo in our first gym battle. If you enjoyed this episode 3 of Pokemon Badge Lock, be sure to leave a like down below. If you liked it and think I could do something else, if you have any uh, suggestions for what kind of Pokemon I should catch, anything to make this challenge better, please let me know down in the comments below. If you really enjoyed it and want to see my future videos, including new episodes of Badge Lock, you can click the subscribe button. You can click the subscribe button down below and you can hit the bell. Dude, seriously, I'm trying to do a thing. Thank you. Hit the bell to get notified whenever I make a new video. That's the best way to get notified. And it is also the best way to tell YouTube, hey, this is a new creator and we want to show his videos to more people. Other than that, that is it for me. I will see you soon. Stay safe and goodbye.